Keira Knightley's trademark role is regal. Whether she's playing a queen, a duchess, or a lady of importance, she carries the status well. And for that reason, we've seen her frock up in plenty of period pieces like Pride and Prejudice, Atonement, The Duchess, and Pirates of the Caribbean. I like costume films. I mean, I think in the best case scenario, I wouldn't have done a costume film right like then. It would have been contemporary. But you know, you can't turn down a brilliant story and an amazing character and working with amazing people just because it's set a couple of hundred years ago. I think you have to go with with um, what interests you. Kira's always been passionate about acting. Her father's an actor and her mother's a playwright, so it wasn't much of a surprise when she started asking for an agent at a young age. She got her big break when she was cast as the decoy queen in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, because she looked so similar to Natalie Portman. But it's her rough and tumble tomboy ways that really got her noticed in the little independent British film turned global smash, Bend It Like Beckham. I loved it. It's sort of really girl power and that, you know, it's so great because I think um, there's a big thing in England about girls not being able to play football. And it's just a great script to say, yeah, we can all do this. Bend It Like Beckham put Kira on the radar. But her gutsy performance as the no-nonsense Elizabeth Swan in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, proved she was much more than a one-hit wonder. And it turned out the physically challenging role was much harder than she'd expected. Because when I first read the script, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'll, I'll sit in the back of carriages, I'll wear pretty dresses, I'll pout a bit, you know, it'll be fine. But actually, I've had a lot of, a lot of stunt work to do, which, for somebody as lazy as me, has been rather challenging. Here's a little insight into Kira's acting techniques. She's devised her own method to help her embody her character. I quite often write interior monologues as thoughts and learn them. Um, and then I stick to my script as far as the interior monologue goes and I don't worry about what my face does. And sometimes it does a lot and sometimes it does a little, but whatever it is, it hopefully will be truthful to whatever that moment was meant to be portraying. Before continuing on to Pirates of the Caribbean 2 and 3, Kira starred in King Arthur as Guinevere and she leapt at the chance to do her own stunts. I spent three weeks and, and trained every day um, and, and got rather good, I have to say, and really, really enjoyed it as well. So, yeah, it was important for me to do it. I kind of figure what's the point in playing this role if you don't want to do the action. In 2005, Kira starred in another costume film, this time Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Her performance won her a Best Picture Academy Award nomination, at the time, the third youngest in history. It's all been very exciting. I think it was all so unexpected. Um, so, no, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. It's very bewildering, um, but, but rather nice. But her next film was a complete change of pace. Kira starred as tough, trigger-happy bounty hunter Domino Harvey in Domino. And apparently her method for choosing a role is quite simple. I see what mood I'm in and go with it. And if I'm feeling particularly angry, then you may get a film like Domino, where I go and kick ass. The Duchess saw Kira return to period films, and she discovered that while the dress code was very different to today, some things remain the same. I didn't realise that celebrity culture, as it, you know, as it is, was was around 300 years ago. I thought that that was kind of fascinating. I think as far as Georgina goes, it very, she is so incredibly trapped by, by the marriage, by her position, by society at that point and and so you sort of you look at these amazing houses and this the, the, this huge privilege but it is in fact a gilded cage you know um, I mean as far as my own I, I'm not trying to make any parallels with myself that's not why I sort of pick parts no it's clear Kira picks her parts for one reason only because she's interested in the character and the story she's a gutsy actress who's just as comfortable in high society as she is in the company of pirates which is why she is one of Hollywood's brightest stars. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.